Hey Cashers, Derek here at Baker Six Clan. Today we're gonna to be building another puzzle box that's gonna go into an ammo can. Let's get started. All right, so this puzzle box that I'm wanting to build this time, I've been really thinking about this one for a while. I've been wanting to do another like Cryptex, which is a cylinder, which I've built one of those before, and I've put that into a cache that's in South Carolina and Curtis did a special video on that and that's and if you want to see that there's a card up here where you can check that out but today I wanted to build something similar to that but I wanted it to be able to go into an ammo can so what I'm going to be building today is a what's called a codex box so just like the cryptex the codex box will have the mechanism where you slide and it locks it in so the bottom part of the box will not come out now, usually I don't draw out my plans, but this time I kind of went back and drew these out just to kind of give myself a little bit more reference of how I'm putting this together because there's quite a bit of uh, very fine tuning of some of the, the, the measurements and everything. Um, of course, I'm gonna go back through as I'm putting this together and redo all my measurements as I go through. But I also wanted to do this one because um, I'll be able to share these plans with you once we get through this entire project and I'll make sure that everything's working right. But also this box wouldn't, I think it would be really cool to be able to take to events or even to be able to make a different version of this and maybe doing some really nice finishing touches and to be able to give it as a gift. So let's get started and start building the out outer box for this Codex box. So now I've got the bottom, the sides, and the top of the box all cut out. Now before I go to the next part of putting these together, one of the things I need to do is go in and route a edge right on the inside of the edge on the sides and on the top. Now the reason why I'm doing that is because when you put the keys that are going to slide back and forth, if you don't have another piece of wood in there, um, it will, when you slide across to get to the combination, it could drop down and then it's not gonna work. So I'm gonna route this so this will fit right inside into the lip and keep that flush right along the top. So when the, the slide slides back and forth to get into the combination, it will not come out. So that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna run this through the router. So now the, all the routing on the outside of the box is done for the extra piece of wood that's going to go inside so that it will be nice and flush across the top with the gap in the middle for where the pins that are going to lock the box are going to go. So now we're going to go ahead and glue and nail all these pieces for the outside box together. All right, so we got the outside of the box done and it slips very nicely right inside the ammo can. It is really nice. It's got a little bit of clearance on both ends for the bottom on there as well and so it'll come out easily. Now, the next part that I gotta do is come in and put the bottom in on this. And But part of the bottom is actually the other part of the box that slips inside of this outer box. And then there'll be, later on, we'll put some pins in the top to be able to get set up for the locking mechanism that's gonna go on the top. So let's get to the bottom and the inside of the box built.
So there is the inside of the codex box itself. Now this will slide right into the outer box. Now, what's going to have to happen next, and then we're going to get to this next week, is that we're going to be building the front of the box, which will have the code that you have to unscramble for the bottom to actually come out to be able to access the log, which will be right in there. So that's going to be next week. Like I said, this is only part one. So part two is when we're going to be getting into making that aspect of it there. But hey, thank you for joining me today and watching this one. Have, here's a question for you. Have you ever found a codec box? So not a, not a Cryptex, but a codec box. So if you have, hey, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this build. Uh, there's so many different things that you can do with this. And just give me some ideas, some other aspects of events or what else you think this type of design would work for. All right, don't go anywhere. Check out another one of these videos right over here and check out the story behind the cache.